Okay, in this video we are going to be looking at setting up the uh, attack animation. It should be quite a short video. Um, and then moving forward to looking at setting up the HUD and the health and stamina system to then be able to set up the death animations. Um, so that the health and everything is in there. So to begin with, um, we're going to open up the scene we had last time. Uh, we should have all the animations in there, the animation state enum set up and if we go into the character we should have from the last few videos the jump set up properly with the animation playing, the walk set up with the rotation, um, the jump height is here, um, I'm not sure if I should cover this in a video but basically to set this up we just add a jump here and the jump settings just like we did at the start of this jump so you want to do this separate to the one where we've set up the animation and then you need to get a character movement so we've uh, used that here when the is falling so you can copy or duplicate this one and bring it over and then just search for the set jump z velocity so inside the character movement this way you need to the character movement first uh, there's all these options, which includes the gravity on the character and a bunch of different stuff, including um, the walkable floor angle. So if you're struggling with any angles that the character can't walk up, you may need to change this. Um, but here we're editing the jump Z velocity. So here we can set that to be a certain height and that will affect how high the character jumps. So quickly just to go over that, I'm not going to go through setting it up because it is really simple, you've set up this part before, um, it's only another couple of parts, just remember this character movement. Um, I'm not sure if you can search for character movement and grab it, yeah you can get the character movement just like that and then pull this from that. Okay, so um, not going to dwell on that too much it's quite simple so we're going to set up the anim the uh, attack so we need to set up a new variable so if we go to variable and set up a variable called um, is attacking we are going to be set setting up this is attacking sorry if you can hear dogs um, the is attacking variable is just going to be a boolean. So, what we're aiming to set up is this. So, what we've got here is the input, like we did with the jump when it's pressed and released. Then, we need the is attacking to be able to set that whether it's on or not. And then we set up the animation we want. So, just going back to our Unreal folder again. I am speeding up here as we progress through the videos, but if you do need to stop, pause, anything like that, please do. Um, so once we've set this up, we need to set up the input. So we're just going to close this window for now. And if you remember, we spoke about this in the past. To set up a new input, we go to settings, project settings. And then here on the left, we want to scroll down and under engine we've got input and here let's do it this one we've got the action mapping and the axis mapping so we're looking for the input map mapping because the attack we want to happen when we press a single button or like the jump one of these so what we're going to do we're going to add we're going to change the name of this to attack and then we're going to set up the Button we're going to use. So I'm going to use E. I'm just going to search for the letter E. So keyboard and E. So that means when I press E, it's going to attack. Well, as long as that's set up correctly. So I will close this and go back into the character. So now if we right click in some space, so I'm just going to do it above the jump. We should be able to search attack. 
and look for the actions event attack. Not the is attacking, the actions event attack. So once this is set up, we need to bring in that variable we just created. So we're going to drag this and set it. Don't get it on the setting. And then we need it again underneath setting. So here, when it's pressed, set turns on the is attacking. When it's released, turns off. So going back to our photo. So now we've got this part. We need to set up the flipbook function so it plays the right animation. We then give it a delay so it plays the animation all the way through. And then we set it again so that it goes off. So basically, when this button is pressed, this is turned on, which means this happens. But if it's released, it's turned off. So, just minimize this. I'm going to pull from here, search for the flipbook function or whatever you have it called. So again, remember we set up the function last time and it should be here. So yours might be called something else, but mine's called flipbook function. And then we can choose the attack animation. I'm then going to set a delay. So just pull this out, search delay. And put this to 0.5. And then the last step for the actual setup is the is attacking for the set. So this turns back off. So this is, grab it and press C, this is the attack. However, the last thing we need to do is make sure we update correctly. Remember, it needs to know what to play and when. So, We set up the animation update in the last video, um, told it when to jump, things like that. So we need to tell it when to attack. So if we go down to where we've got our event tick. This is how we sort of had it last time. Now what we need to do is we need to create branch. So we can ask, is something happening? So if we break this and we pull out and search for a branch. Basically, we're going to add the condition of is attacking coming up. So we're just going to grab it from here and we're going to get it. So what this is doing is asking, the first thing the game is going to ask every frame is, is it attacking? So is this button being pressed, is the attacking turned on or off? If it is on, it's going to play the animation. So if the attacking is true, we want it to play the animation. But if it is false and it's not turned on, it's not attacking, we want it to go back to the animation update, sorry, from the last video. So go back to asking, is it falling? Is it walking? Is it idle? Um, so if we compile and save, what was this? If I now go to the game, so we had it where we walked, we jumped, all this is still working, and now if I press E, the attack plays. Yep, so I will potentially look in the future to do a small video on stopping the animation playing while you're moving like this because it slides, so you actually have to stand still. But for now, the animation, the attack animation is working. It works to an, a fresh key or input. Um, and in the next video, we'll look at setting up the hood.